Tip-off goes to Denver. Let's take a look at our starters for Denver. Gordon and Jokic together in the middle. Pairing up in the backcourt, Murray and Brown. And it's Porter in its small forward. Irving for three. Nails it from three. Well, this is a staple, a pillar of Irving's attack. You've got to be up on him or he'll pull up on the dime. And you've got to give this Dallas front office credit for how they've acquired quality role players, Greg. Well, B.A. in particular adding length and athleticism. That's helped them defensively as well as providing some lob targets for Luka and Kyrie. Here's Doncic following the score by Denver. Irving a screen on Gordon. Washington passes to Gafford. Thompson with it. Washington outside. The three. Denver grabs the miss. First quarter, just over a minute played. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Clock at six. The Nuggets need to get one up. And Gordon with the big finish. It's never easy in the NBA, folks. I mean, great job by Gordon to just dismiss the contact and still score. Jokic against Doncic. Jokic passes to Murray. Jokic with a screen on Gafford. And here's Gordon. Back to Murray. Here's the three. Thompson pulls it in. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Murray against Doncic. Washington, a screen on Murray. Doncic left side. Doncic is doubled to the wing on the left. Here's Gafford. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. A minute 42 left in the first. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, Jason Kidd had a few moments to share with me. And I asked him about their matchup against the multiple-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He told me, quote, Jokic is going to find a way to impact the game. We just need to make it tough on him. We have to bring the physicality and be cognizant of other guys cutting to the rim. We'll see how their defense holds up, B.A. Allie, thank you. You got to run Kyrie off that line. If you let him get comfortable and find the shot from behind the arc, it's a wrap. Murray finds Jokic. Now here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. The three is up. And another miss by Denver. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Now Irving. Takes the three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Kyrie Irving, special. I mean, as skilled a player as you'll ever see when it comes to handling the ball and scoring in close. Three shots. Three shots. And he drops it first. Clark, it's been great to see the Nuggets as a perennial powerhouse these past few years. Well, you know, that's what happens when you get a guy like Nikolai Jokic. I mean, he's a game changer, and what a joy to watch. Took a long time for them to finally get to the place where they could win that first title. But usually teams don't become champions overnight. It's a process. Now everybody's scared of them. You know, when you think about how the Mavs play defense, so much depends on how they defend the point of attack. They've got great rim protection and rotations, but if they aren't stopping penetration, it's tough. And he nails the third. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Westbrook, the pass to Jokic. On the wing, Murray. Shot to stop the run. And it's good on the layup. 
left the defender stunned, stupefied Murray with magnetic handles. Doncic against Westbrook. From 15 feet away, and it's Doncic missing. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Jokic passes to Westbrook, launches it from deep. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. Kyrie Irving has been on display for Dallas. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Well, Grant, with players getting bigger and more athletic, do you support moving the restricted area out? Yeah, B.A., I would. We've seen a lot of injuries when defenders slide underneath elevated players on the drive. So cutting down that risk makes a lot of sense. They've got Dante Exum, Kyrie Irving out there with Spencer Dinwiddie. Then there's Najee Marshall, and it's Lively in at the five. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. Outside quarter. Pass to Strother. This one for three. Hits the trifecta. Strother's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Boy, nice read by Porter Jr. that time. Scanning the floor and getting his teammates involved. And we're now about a minute into this second quarter of play. And a slam dunk by Lively. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Nuggets trail by six. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, the Nuggets understand their opportunity. Coach Michael Malone said, we have a special, unique player, and that window is only open for so long. If we want to try and be a dynasty, we need a standard of excellence each and every day, and it's my job to hold the guys accountable. Brian? Yep, and it starts from the top. He's done it well. Thanks, Allie. Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. Brown's checked in for the Nuggets. Murray comes in for Strother. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Denver shooting their first free throws of the night right here. And, you know, there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean, for the most part, the entire team struggled. He makes the first. Well, Clark, you look at Denver's lineups. They have a lot of size on this team. Yeah, I tell you what, it's kind of the polar opposite of small ball, B.A. I mean, with Jokic in the middle and a lot of length on the wings and in the backcourt, too, this is a growing trend in the league as I see it. So he gets them both. And if you're looking for identifiable team mascots, Clark, some say the Mavericks champ, the horse, is near the top of the list. Yeah, he does get after it. Also, the Mavs man. Dallas is rolling out a couple of iconic figures to keep that crowd on fire. Count it. Irving's gotten four this quarter. You know, this is simply what Kyrie Irving does. Get buckets against defenders. He's a bucket maker. Westbrook outside. To the inside. Here's Porter. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Porter's got his second bucket on the night. A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. And so it's Irving who brings up the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. They lead by four. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Great D that time from Murray. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Here's Najee. No points so far. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It'll go on Maxi Kleba. Boy, when you combine Westbrook's athleticism with the ferocity that he plays with, hard not to foul him inside. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Dallas? 
Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. The first free throw is good. Boy, the passion Westbrook plays with is infectious. He plays hard every second he's out on the court. And a new group getting ready for the Mavericks. Gafford, he's checked in for Lively. Washington comes in for Kleba. Thompson, he's checked in for Exum. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Dinwiddie. And Denver with a change here, too. Jokic is checked in. And so Westbrook nails both of them. The Mavericks leading. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. 133 left in the second period. Off target with the three. And while Nikola Jokic has lots of years left in this league, he's already an all-time great, Grant. You know, B.A., not many guys have won multiple MVPs and a title. But Jokic has already accomplished so much. But with his size and skill set, Jokic can be elite for a long time and add to that impressive resume. Now here's Murray. Here's Jokic. Jokic finishing through the D. There's just no stopping Jokic on the inside. 58 seconds left in the second quarter. Thompson, a screen on Westbrook. Doncic against Westbrook. Doncic, good. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Outside quarter. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Dallas has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Doncic passes to Washington. Yep, that one goes. And it's a four-point Dallas lead. Denver has gone 1 of 2 from deep in the second quarter. Doncic against Westbrook. Pass to Jokic. Shot clock at 6. Over Gafford. Jokic, no good. And Doncic launches from deep. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Mavericks on top, leading by four. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not letting them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, not letting them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime well you look at Kyrie Irving in this game he's been everywhere through the first two quarters he's been on fire explosive offensive performance and you know what I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank that first half had to take a lot out of getting underway in the second half here's the five from Michael Malone Porter Jr. and Gordon make up the forwards. Pairing up in the backcourt, Murray and Brown. And it's Jokic in at the center position. Murray, shot is good. Well, I love the fact that he caught it and was ready to shoot it right away. Well done. Dallas leading by four. 
Man, was there a guy more fit to run that 2023 team than Murray? I don't think so, Brian. I mean, think about what Murray did. After coming off an ACL injury, he leads them to the finals, along with Jokic and the rest of his teammates, and he went off in every playoff series. Tough shots, clutch shots, timely shots. Incredible stuff by Jamal Murray. Now here's Jokic. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Here's Porter. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Doncic against Jokic. Another miss by Doncic. Nuggets trail by four. Here's Brown. Pass to Jokic. Gets the bucket and the foul! Daniel Gafford picks one up. Tell you what, with Jokic, you've got to foul him harder than that. This big fella takes pride in finishing through the defense. And Jokic no good on that one. With lots of prime seasons ahead of him, Clark, Nikola Jokic already has multiple MVPs and a championship. It is an incredible resume already, that's for sure, B.A. I think he's got a chance to get into that top ten, maybe top five all-time conversation. But he's special, and what a joy to watch. Never seems to be overexerting himself, but he's making impact at both ends of the floor. He's extremely special as a basketball player. Irving finds Gafford. Doncic against Jokic. Doncic passes to Thompson. That shot wide open. And now it's a six-point Maverick lead. The blend of confidence and skill, beautiful to see. Thompson knew all he needed was the ball in his hands. And so it's Michael Malone here calling timeout. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed to the paint. Here's Porter. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. The Mavericks lead by six. Thompson scanning the floor. Pass to Irving. Let's the three fly. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. For Denver, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. All right, let's get a report from Allie. We know Nikola Jokic is a natural, but that's not all. Coach Malone said it's too bad that people can't peek behind the curtain and see how hard Nikola works. He understands that there's no magic formula. Yes, he's incredibly gifted, but it's his work ethic. That's great. Brian? Well, Allie, talent only gets you so far. He's got both. So it's the Mavericks now. Denver getting their last shot to go. Back to Doncic. Thompson, a screen on Murray. Out to Thompson. Just four to shoot. And Dallas hits again from deep. Extremely dangerous from that range. That's Thompson's comfort zone right there. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Murray, a screen on Thompson. Porter pass to Jokic. And the rebound goes to Dallas. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Thompson finds Doncic. Gafford with a screen.
screen on Murray. Here's Doncic. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's Dallas earning this break in the action, up 10. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Nuggets trail by 10. Washington and Lively down low. The two stars in the backcourt, Luka and Kyrie. And it's Thompson in at the three spot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. It's tipped. And they recover it. Pass to Watson. Now Murray. He's guarded by Irving. Takes a three. Murray, no good. And Doncic has got the ball here for the Mavs. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Washington with the ball. And here we go. The Nuggets on the fast break. Here's Westbrook. And the rebound goes to Dallas. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. Irving, the pass to Doncic. From deep three-point land. Watson with the rebound. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. But well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Westbrook against Doncic. Six to shoot. Crafty move. And Westbrook lays it in. Just by nature of his style, Westbrook is going to draw contact, so he's got to be strong enough and focused enough to play through it. And he is and does. And we've got a timeout from Jason Kidd. No doubt he's going to utilize the opportunity to make sure they're all on the same page here. Gafford, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And Denver making a change here. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, guys, I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. He implored his team to use the clock. He said the clock is our friend. No need to rush things unless they give us a free one. Let's squeeze them out of this game. Back to you, Brian. As always, Allie, we thank you. Pass to Jokic. Outside Porter. Puts up a three. He buries it from three. Fun watching Porter Jr. come right back with his own three. Love that competitive spirit. Doncic against Murray. Fades back. Doncic, no good. Nuggets trail by eight. Left side Murray. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Gordon with the big finish. And when Gordon is launched and in the air like that, he's a mesmerizing guy to keep an eye on and just get out of the way. Now here's Irving. He's guarded closely. Washington passes to Thompson. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Hey, from a technical, mechanical standpoint, Clay Thompson has one of the purest jump shots you'll ever see. Pass to Jokic. There's a minute 26 left of the game. And it's good for two. Here's Doncic. Over Murray. Again, the Mavericks. Good for two more. Well, I think this is exactly what the coaching staff wants from Doncic, guys. I mean, being aggressive and committed to scoring the ball. Looking for his shot. Pass to Jokic. Here's Brown. There's the triple. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. Doncic passes to Gafford. Thompson outside. And here's Washington. Doncic with it. Floats one up. Back to Washington. Down to five on the shot clock. Misses the three. And here's Denver. Trailing by eight. Pass to Jokic. Here's Brown. The three. And it's in. Oh, and that's...
that cuts the lead to just five. So good to see Murray, not just as a scorer, but thriving as a passer, too. And he commits the intentional foul. First team foul. An intentional foul right there. First personal foul. Second team foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the second of two is good. And that increases the lead to six. And timeout is called by Michael Malone. He was quite emphatic, demanding the timeout. Clearly wanting to address strategy with his team. seconds left in the fourth quarter here lets it go from deep yes what a beautiful shot brings him within three jamal murray really loves being the crunch time deliverer this guy relishes the chance to make big hoops yeah just a must foul situation to stop the clock and you know what who knows a few misses at the strike and they're right there within range you know late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. Great job at the line, and it's now a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Denver. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth. From a coaching perspective, what are the keys to focus on here? No doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt. Jokic the screen. Down low. Jokic muscles it down. How about the big-time clutch basket from Jokic? No backup in him, despite the major pressure. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although... That's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. And he's able to hit the second one. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Here's Murray. Outside Porter. From behind the arc. Kyrie Irving clears the rebound. And now they foul and stop the clock. First personal foul. 15 foul. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. That should put this game on ice, not leaving any points behind. Porter from outside. The shot comes out, and so it's Dallas winning this one. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. And B.A., they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And, Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And, uh... It's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. And now, time for our player of the game.